What's up everyone? Sorry, Carp. Alright, today, fraudulent trainers. Um, it's pretty simple really, like, trainers need to be honest, trainers need to um, think about not being so disrespectful to such a beautiful art with such history, and, um, and not just teaching something to make the dollars, you know? Like, you know, obviously we all need to make money from this, but you can't be, you can't be teaching a false product and calling it Muay Thai. If it's not Muay Thai, don't call it Muay Thai. Man, like, <clears throat> I, don't, I don't give a shit what you call it. If it's, if it's something else and call it something else, I don't care. I don't, I don't like other combat sports. Like, I like pro boxing, that's about it. Um, I'm not a fan of any other combat sports, so I don't care what you call them. But don't call it Muay Thai if you're, if you're not a, a genuine Muay Thai trainer. And by genuine Muay Thai trainer, I mean someone who actually understands the sport, culturally understands the sport, knows what it takes to be a Muay Thai fighter, putting you guys in, challenging your guys, not caring so much about the wins and losses. It's, it, it's plain and simple. You don't call yourself a Muay Thai trainer if you're not. Muay Thai is a very specific style. And you know, it is for everyone and everyone has a, can have a go at it and everyone can get good at it and everyone can learn it. But to teach it and call something Muay Thai that's not Muay Thai, I believe is one of the biggest disrespects. It actually, it, it, it upsets me because of, you know, I, I'm not saying I'm the best and I'm better than everyone. I'm just saying that I, what I had to go through to learn Muay Thai, it doesn't always have to be, you don't have to go and live in Thailand, you don't have to, you know, spend nine years living in the slums and barely surviving in Thailand to learn Muay Thai. But you need to learn it the right way from the right people, people who understand Muay Thai. And taking advantage of new people to the sport is disgusting. I see it so much, I see it on social media, these trainers who call themselves Muay Thai trainers who are genuinely not. And they get all these, you know, massive turnover of people, not even turnover, massive numbers of people in their gym yeah, great, they're, they're exercising, they're doing all that. But when people actually think they're learning Muay Thai, but they're not, they're learning some bastardized version that isn't even Muay Thai, it actually really upsets me. Muay Thai has such a strong culture, such a strong history. To disrespect it like that is actually disgusting. If you teach Muay Thai, understand Muay Thai. I'm here to ask, to answer questions. I'm. I'm not the know-it-all, I don't know everything. I have people I ask as well, because I'm always wanting to learn, but thinking you actually know Muay Thai and calling what you do Muay Thai and not learning and trying to develop your Muay Thai. I love when people don't really know Muay Thai, but they're learning it, they're trying to learn it so they can teach it. That to me is, is special, you know? It's, it shows that they're developing and you need to constantly develop as a trainer. So learning constantly about what Muay Thai is, I'm always learning, I learn new stuff all the time. And I consider myself quite knowledgeable, I don't know it all, as I've said, but I, I know a lot. And I'm still learning stuff all the time. And trainers who want to learn and ask questions and, and contact people, you know, like myself, or like Nugget, or like Darren Reese, or like Don Miller, or any of those guys, those experienced guys, people who ask them for you know, questions about, you know, what culturally how is it meant to be or, you know, what, how does this work in Muay Thai and why is this used in Muay Thai and that sort of stuff. That's important. You've got to start somewhere as a trainer, but don't not develop Muay Thai style. Don't continue doing kickboxing or MMA style stuff and calling it Muay Thai because it ain't. And it's sad that people actually want to teach that to people and not teach them the beautiful traditional art of Muay Thai. That's my bitch for the day. Hope everyone enjoyed it. Um, up and peace.